Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. Guys, I've got a very brief window in the rain we've had today to shoot this one. So we're going to go ahead and rush through it real quick on the outside at least. Today we're going to review a 2006 Fleetwood Bounder. Model's a 33R. Guys, it's got 46,000 miles, uh, two slides. Good floor plan, guys. 34 feet, three inches long, and here comes the rain. Now, guys, I got to fix a couple little things on it. I'll go over on the inside, but has a uh, 362 horsepower V10 Ford, uh, 5,000 pound tow capacity, has a 5,000 or 5,500 watt Onan gasoline generator. Now, guys, the generator is currently not running. Uh, it smells like old gas when you try to crank it and it's priming, so it's probably just going to have the carburetor cleaned out or, or rebuilt or replaced, which we're going to take care of that. Uh, when we sell it, but uh, it does have the optional Alcoa wheels. Uh, it's got the paint body looks good. Got a little bit of fading, a couple of the stripes, a little bit of chalking, which a good buff and wax will probably fix that. I just unfortunately don't have anybody to buff and wax right now. Windshields look good. Motor runs great. We just put a new uh, motor battery in it, guys. New interstate motor battery. A little bit of chalking on this side too. Buffing and waxing to break this, bring this thing back to life like you wouldn't believe. Let's look inside, guys. I'm getting wet. I apologize if I've got a little bit of rain on the lens. Step works great. I just had new carpet installed. Sorry about that, guys. I have been trying to find a spot in the rain all day. It has drizzled nonstop, rained all day. Let me wipe my lens off real quick, guys. Alrighty, hope that looks all right. All right, guys, a couple of things I'm going to do to the inside. Of course, I'm going to get generator fixed. Uh, first of all, this unit has 43,383 miles. I'm sorry, I told you 48. 43, 383, no check engine lights, no warning lights on the dash. A little crack in the plastic right there. I don't know what happened there, but I am going to have a new TV installed in the front. So don't worry about that. I have a new TV up here. You got flex steel swivel chairs. This is all brand new carpet. Just They just finished installing this morning. You know, that's... Uh, I've got a new carpet crew now, guys. Uh, till my main guy comes back. And they actually did a really good job on this one, but they're a little bit more expensive. I mean, this is about a $1,300, $1,400 ordeal to put carpet in here. So that's money that you don't have to spend. So brand new carpet. Upholstery looks good got a leather sleeper sofa you've got a table booth that makes a bed and your queen bed in the back very similar floor plan but just a little bit shorter to a 35u Atasca sun cruiser or winnebago adventure uh, which is where most popular floor plans with two big slides you know you got a super slide right here but your bedroom slides got the closet it's almost as big as this slide out um I didn't look up the high. This is close to seven foot tall ceiling. So it's got a really tall height clearance on the inside. Uh, it's got Fleetwood's exclusive power platform, which gives you full pass through storage in the basement. Chair looks good. Like I said, we'll put a flat screen TV up there and um, we're gonna put, get that generator going for you and all that's included for that 47.9 price. Countertops look good, guys. You've got a three burner stove top. You've got a microwave. I do have the refrigerator running on propane right now, so it ought to be getting cold pretty fast. You know, a little trick you can do when you're in a hurry to cool one off is if you run it on propane instead of AC power, which right now I don't have any choice because generator don't run and I'm too far away to plug it into a shore power cord. Um, you can run it on propane and it will cool it off a lot quicker. It's still going to take several hours to get to operating temp, but it, the freezer will get colder a lot quicker on a uh, on propane. I uh, do, don't know if you noticed or not. It looks like somebody's replaced two of the panels but left the other two original. And what I like about these kind of refrigerators, guys, you can go to Lowe's. You can buy multiple kinds of material to put on this. Uh, you can put marker boards. You can put magnetic board. You can put wood. You can put uh, stainless steel. Whatever your style is, guys. Actually, believe it or not, just running on propane for the last little bit. Because I, I went out here earlier today 
and had it running for a while on propane i mean it's not operating temp yet but it's 12 degrees under 10 degrees the refrigerator's not there yet i don't think no it's still in the 60s but it works that's the main thing so refrigerator's good um i did plug it into my portable generator on the back of my golf cart for a little bit um i could i ran one air at a time so i did check both the acs for you they're both cold uh running off the the 30 amp um my little 30 amp generator they can only run one air at a time so that part's good if i have to turn one off check the other but i checked both of them they both blow cold carpet's brand new um heat and air controls right here for both zones you've got dual uh roof airs needs a tv back here guys that, i'll leave that one up to you um just like this fridge panels you can put what you want there or leave it like it is 60 by 80 queen bed a uh, lot of the lights have been changed to leds and some of them have not um what i call a partial conversion big closet you've got solid siding doors for privacy to separate the bedroom from the rest of the rv and of course you've got a nice bathroom looks like somebody has closed off the skylight which a lot of people do that reduce some of the heat coming in and of course you can tell that because the shower is nice and bright white so i don't think it's been stored outside either they've kept it outside or not kept it outside between uses or they've kept that they've had that thing covered up for a long time because the shower is so bright white as many of you know the uv rays coming through that skylight if one's been stored outside a lot will bleach your shower and tub a bright yellow this one is bright white so one of the others happened uh china rv toilet medicine cabinet you got a fantastic vent fan i don't see any stains on the carpeted headliner like i said guys i get um I get generator going, TV in it, and I get I got one blind over there. I got to have um, one of my uh, carpenters slash fixer. <laughs> She'll uh, she does those blinds too. She actually restrings those blinds, so uh, does a real good job on that. I'll get her in here to do that, um, and she'll probably hang the TV too. But this is a nice unit, guys. Very clean for what it is. It's priced very reasonable. Guys, the Fleetwood Bounder is the best-selling Class A motorhome of all time. As a matter of fact, 06 is the 20th anniversary edition. These things originally came out in 1986, and they haven't stopped since they first started building them, guys. This is Fleetwood's bread and butter right here, the Fleetwood Bounder. Um, and they're not the cheapest. because So, you know... They're just, they're, they're such a great, well-built RV for the particular price point. That, that's what's so popular about them. Um, they're still nice, but they're not so expensive that, you, you know, that, that the average person can't afford them. So that's what I do like about the Bounder, guys. It's kind of the perfect combination of quality and price point. And this one's 47.9, haggle-free firm, 43,000 miles. Uh, I will fix the generator. I'll fix this blind. I'll put your TV up there. Uh, I guarantee the refrigerator, the generator, the slide outs, and the roof airs to work like they're supposed to. So all your major stuff's covered. You know, you can come look at it, inspect the rest if you want to, see what works, what doesn't. Um, nice as this unit is, I don't think you'll have much to worry about. And I know every used RV, guys, you're going to find something you're going to have to work on. That's just part of owning one. Believe me, guys, I know that better than anybody. Um, <laughs> uh, especially what I've been going through on mine, <laughs> but you know what, guys? Um, that's just part of owning one. Anybody that, that buys an RV thinking they're never going to have to work on it or pay to have it worked on, guys, you, you live in a pipe dream. It can be new, it can be used, it don't matter. That's just the nature of the beast. Don't, don't come in expecting to buy a used RV that's going to be new that you never have to do anything to for years because that's not going to happen. Uh, anywhere here or anywhere else it doesn't even matter if you buy new new is in just as imperfect as used and, and worse in some cases right now but um pretty neat guys got some pretty exciting news um 
I have been selected, uh, our dealership has by Forest River No Boundaries to carry a prototype trailer that they're building. Uh, that'll be coming soon. And I know this is irrelevant to a class A, but for those of you who boondock and you want a travel trailer, can you imagine a factory built small travel trailer with the solar cap capabilities and the inverter capabilities to run your roof air conditioner for several hours without shore power or generator. It's a prototype. They're only building 12 of them. I'm getting one of them probably here in the next month or two. Um, they're still getting it all the all the bugs worked out before they sell it to us. It's not going to be a cheap option, but it, it you know how well it does, guys. It may be a permanent fixture. It may not be. That's why they call them prototypes, and they're letting us test it to see what kind of response we get to it. So, I'll be shooting a very exclusive video on that here as soon as I get it. So, for you Nobo fans who watch my channel, it's going to be awesome. I'll tell you that. Um. Back to the news, and I've got some cool motorhomes coming in too, guys. I've got, uh, we've been buying like crazy. Bought several today, uh, several yesterday. Got one coming in, a mid-engine diesel that originally was a toy hauler, but converted into a rear huge, com almost a commercial grade chicken. Uh, chicken. <laughs> you can tell I ain't lunch yet. It's, it's one that I like because it's almost a commercial grade kitchen in the back of it. it's made for caterers and people who do barbecues uh tournaments and and competitions but still a regular rv in the front so really really cool motor home i should be able to show here in a few days guys i'm really looking forward to it it's coming in in the next few days um then we'll clean it up put it out here for sale really cool guys um and a new mar so i uh, got some cool features so if you're not a subscriber guys got some really neat videos going to be coming soon make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification button anyway back to this motorhome guys it sleeps six uh it is 47 nine haggle free firm we have no char uh, no extra fees besides applicable sales tax and if you are a georgia resident um we do have to pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee and a 40 to 50 dollar tag and title fee that applies to georgia residents only out of state don't worry about it financing's available with approved credit like i said it's gonna have a tv it's gonna have a generator running like it's supposed to and um and this blind over here beside me fixed probably have the tv and the blind fixed by this time tomorrow but generator i'll turn a service ticket in it may take us a little bit to get to it but we'll get to it guys or we'll go ahead and jump on it when you buy it um a lot of times, once I get somebody freed up to get on, they can usually fix that in a couple hours. Most of the time, it's just where old gas is set in the carburetor, gummed it up. A lot of times, you can clean it, rebuild it, or replace it. And at least the carburetor kits are one of the few things that is pretty readily accessible right now for RV parts for a 5500 Onan. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching again. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button. Smash me a thumbs up, comment, share on social media, guys. We've been doing this for 53 years. The oldest licensed, bonded, insured dealer, in the, uh, RV dealer in the entire state of Georgia right here. One of the oldest ones in the country. I'm not going to say we are the oldest, but we're one of them. Three generations right here in Ringgold, Georgia. Uh, basically a suburb of Chattanooga, Tennessee. We're about an hour and a half north of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, easy to find, hard to beat, guys. Um, we don't nickel and dime you to death. We don't charge you dock fees, prep fees, processing fees, and all this other stuff that can add thousands of dollars to an, a dealer's advertised price. We don't do that, guys. Um, other dealers do, and all those fees are 100% dealer profit. They're ripoff fees. We don't mark interest rates up on financing. A lot of people don't know this, but when you finance to an RV dealer's finance department, they actually take the rate the bank approves you for, and then they add however much they can to it and the bank lets them keep about three quarters of that, or a little over three quarters. Usually about 80, 80 20 split between the dealer and the bank. Um, bank makes a little bit, dealer makes a lot. You're overpaying by thousands for RV financing. And you have no idea they're doing it because they're dealing directly with their lenders. You're not, you're not, all, all you do is you get what the finance manager or salesperson, sales manager tells you. You're not talking to the bank, they are. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you'll be overpaying by thousands plus here comes the upsells guys extended warranties gap insurance interior exterior protection packages all that stuff not worth the paper it's written on uh no upsells here guys you know like i said you're wasting your money you know if you want to buy a five-year extended warranty 
take that money you spend for that warranty, put it in a savings account, and leave it there until you have to have a repair and take it out of that. You're going to wind up money ahead um, most of the time. Because, let me tell you something about extended warranties, guys. They're aftermarket. They're going to do everything they can to keep from paying the claim. It's kind of like your auto insurance. They find, try to find ways to keep from paying the claim. Same way with the extended warranty. They're a for-profit business. If they have to pay out, they're losing money. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, we're not offering them right now because we're not doing the full checkouts. Now, when we go back to it, we might do an easy care, but keep in mind, guys, easy care is better than most, but still, uh, ain't none of them, ain't none of them um, uh, perfect by no means. So, um, like I said, best thing to do is you put that money in a bank account, a savings account, bury it in the backyard, a mason jar, or whatever. That's a southern thing, actually. <laughs> Uh, but don't, uh, you know, and, and, and save that money. Here's the thing, guys. When you go through a dealership, two things you want to get as low as possible. It, this, it's not about payment. Never shop by payment. If you tell a dealer what, your pay, what you want your payments to be, you gave them all kinds of ammo to, to rip you off. They might, you might go and say, hey, I, I want to buy this thing, but I can't afford more than a $600 a month payment. Well, they, they'll get you approved at, let's just say, a $485 a month payment. Then they mark the interest rate up. And then they they mark your interest rate up to you're paying close to $600 a month. So what they do is when you sit down to sign the papers, oh, let me show you what you can get for another $20, $30 more dollars a month. Uh, you know, for another $30 a month, you'll get gap insurance, extended warranty, this and this. And for another $70 a month, you get this, 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 and this, and this. And for this much a month, you get all of these services and then some. Guys, don't pay attention to the payment. Pay attention to the interest rate and the amount you're financing. You want the rate and the amount financed to be as low as possible. Your interest, your uh, payment will follow the amount financed and the rate. That's the only way it works. So be familiar before you start RV shopping. Check with your bank or credit union. See what kind of offer they do for RV financing terms, rates, what year models they go back to, things like that. Keep in mind, guys, older RVs do. You usually have to pay a little bit more interest rate because there's only a limited number of banks that will do an older RV, like over 10 years old. So, unfortunately, they mark the rate up a little bit. Not us. They do. Um, but we have no dealer interest rate markup. You know, like I said, you want to so I always say no to upsells. You want to keep that amount financed as low as possible. Pay as much money down as you can because it's the more you pay down, the more equity you get. You get it back at the end when you sell it or trade it. So you're not really losing that kind of money when you pay money down because, like I said, when you sell it or trade it a year, two years, three years from now, you get a lot of that back because they have to pay off pay off less when you sell it or trade it versus if you didn't pay that money down and your and your loan amount was higher. So like I said, that's my advice, my two cents for many, many years of being in this industry and, and, and buying RVs myself and of course multiple vehicles, you know, cars and trucks. Same way with the car business too, guys. Never shop by payment. Shop by the amount financed and the interest rate. That's that's the only way you're you're ever gonna halfway come out. Um because I must be honest, all of RVs are depreciating assets. That's just the nature. Same way with cars, boats, motorcycles. So um, keep that in mind. So you always want to keep that amount financed as low as possible. Let me know in the comments what you think, guys, about, about my advice or about this RV. 33R, 34 foot, 3 inches long. So it's not huge compared to a lot of the Class A's. And new carpet. I have a new TV. It'll have um, blind fixed and generator fixed. And um, come out and take a look at it, guys. Come out and test drive it. We do test drives Monday through Friday only. Uh, we are open Saturdays 9 to 5 for lookers, but we do not do test drives for on Saturday. I don't have the manpower. It's nothing to have 20, uh, 20 25 carloads of customers out here and only four or five salespeople here. And uh, if one of them takes off to do a test drive, they're gone for 30, 45 minutes or an hour. Every, you know, my guys can't handle any more customers than that. So the customers they were, the salesperson was waiting on, gets mad and leaves. So to make one sale, we'll lose two or three other sales. That's why we don't do test drives on Saturday. And we just tell everybody up front, if you want a test drive, come during the week. 
Uh, we are closed Sundays, of course, for the Lord's Day and Family Day for our employees. And we are closed most holidays. And um, keep in mind, guys, we close at closing time every night. My guys, everybody here, because of the labor shortage, works six days a week. Very rarely do they take a day off. And it's sad that the people who are lazy and not working are making it harder on those that are trying to do the right thing and work. But um, that's just the way this world is right now, guys. I'm not going to get into that, but it's just absolutely crazy. Anyway, um, 47.9 Haggle Free Firm. Thank you for watching. If you got questions, give us a call. 706-965-7929. ParkwayRVCenter.com is our website. I'll put a link in the video description below. So you can go to my website, see my current inventory of used Class A gas and diesel. I probably got more than just about anybody in the country in one location right now, and I got plenty more on the way. So if you haven't already subscribed for the third time, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button. Comment, share on social media. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, guys. We do offer nationwide delivery. Contact us for a quote if you're interested in financing. Call us for up-to-date information on that. Again, 706-965-7929. Our address is 5568 Battlefield Parkway, Ringgold, Georgia. Open Monday through Saturday. Um, Eastern Time, 9 to 6 Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Saturday Eastern. Closed Sunday, of course. Thank you for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.